In this week's evaluation tutorial video, we're going to walk through an evaluation of the sample project we suggested, so that's the flower animation. And the first two criteria we're going to look at are, is the program safe and is it commit ready? So let's get started. So this is the flower animation program. Uh, so now we can look through this to make sure that it fills the requirements for safe. So we have two requires up here, image and universe. Those are ones that we want. We can press Command F or Control F to check if there's any other requires hiding that we don't want, and there's not, so that's good. So this gets an acceptable for is the program safe. Now we can look through the file to check that it is commit ready. So we're looking for any comments or notes that are left behind that shouldn't be there, or any code that is commented out that shouldn't be. So if we scroll through, we've got types comments, interps, signatures and purposes that are commented out, which we want. And there doesn't seem to be anything commented out that shouldn't be. So that's good. We can give this a good for commit ready. So the next criteria we want to look at is, are all HTD elements complete and do they have high internal quality? So this is structured a little differently than the past design quiz. Instead of grading the completeness and internal quality separately, we're going to look at the three different recipes and grade completeness and internal quality together for each one. So for HTDW specifically, we want to look to see that the file includes constants, data definitions, and functions, that the constant section is complete, we want to check that the main function operates on the correct type and that that type is compound. And we want to make sure that all of the necessary Big Bang options are present and each one has a handler present in the file. So first let's look at the constant section. We have width and height defined, that's good. Then here's the MTS. We can see here that they've used the correct width and height for their MTS, but they've hard-coded those in rather than using the constants. So really we should use width and height here so we have what's called a single point of control. So this would be better than we have this flower defined, so that looks good. So other than that small error here, the constant section looks good. We can see that the data definition is present and that it's a compound type, so we'll evaluate the actual completeness of that data definition in the next criteria. Next we'll look at the main function. It's going from flower to flower, which is good. It gives us a note about what to start the animation with. We see here that we have three Big Bang options, on tick, to draw, and on mouse, and that each one has a handler. We have these notes about the signature of each handler. Those are all correct. And we'll check to make sure each one of those handlers is present. So we see here we have top, there is render, and down here we have handle mouse. So we had one small problem in the constants. Other than that, everything is good. So we'd give this a good for completeness and internal quality of HTDW. So the next criteria we want to look at is the HTDD elements of the file. And we want to look at completeness and internal quality again. So this is similar to the last design quiz. The only new thing we need to look at is the structure definition, which is specific to compound. Other than that, we want to check the type comment, interpretation, examples, the template, and then the template rules used. So we have define struct flower and has three fields, x, y, and size. So that looks well formed. We have a typed comment, flower is make flower integer integer natural. That's great. We have the interpretation which says a flower with x position, y position, and a side length. That's pretty good. We could be a little bit more specific by saying what the units are for the side length. So we could add in pixels here. Then we have two examples of flowers, and here's the template. We have fun for flower f, which is the correct name for a template. And then we have all three selectors. There's a bit of a problem here though. If you look closely, they've forgotten to add the parameter to each one of those. So that's not actually correct. We need to add an f in for all of those. But now that's good and complete. And for the template rules used, it says compound, four fields. That seems to be a typo. There's three fields, so we'll just change that. So we have one really big problem here in the template, and then these two little ones here, making the intern more specific, and this typo in the template rules used. These two are pretty small problems, so we would maybe give this a good or fair for the data definition completeness and internal quality. So the next criteria we need to look at is the HTDF elements of our program. So it says to choose either the to draw on key or on mouse handler and examine that. 
and we want to look for all the parts of HTDF. So that's the signature, purpose, stub, examples, tests, template, and the function body. We're going to look at the render function for this program. So if we take a look, we have a signature, flower to flower. That's actually incorrect. If we look back at our main function, it says that render goes from flower to image. So that's a good hint there that we have the wrong signature. So change this to image, and we'll keep going. It says renders the flower onto the screen. That's pretty good. We could be a bit more specific and say on the MTS at the correct X and Y coordinates. And then we could even add renders the flower of the given size. So that's a much more specific purpose. It really tells us how we're going to render our flower based on the compound data. So we can look at some check expects. Uh, we have one example here of size 20. That looks good. We have one of size 0. And then we have another one here of size 40. Seems pretty much the same as this one, so I'm not sure if it's really necessary, but those look good. Now we can look at the stub, which is well formed. There's a note about taking the template from flower, which is correct. And then we can examine our function here. This should really be on the next line. Not a big deal, though. So let's look at the function body. First, it checks if the flower size is 0, in which case it produces empty image, which seems reasonable. Otherwise, we're scaling the flower by the size over 100 and then rotating by that size again. So that looks OK and seems to work. But by using this rotate function, we've actually created another case that we need to test. The rotate function can only actually accept numbers that are less than 360. So if we add a test here that, say, has size of 370, then in theory this should be 370, and that should be 370. And if we try and run that, we're actually going to get an error. It says expects an angle in degrees as first argument, but given 370. So we really need to do something else to handle this case. So one thing that we could do is just add remainder here, which gives us the remainder when divided by a number. And we can divide by 360. So 370 degrees will really become 10 degrees up here. And if we run this now, all nine tests passed. So that's a bit of a problem because we didn't really have enough tests to notice that we were missing that case. But the problem with the tests and the function body are kind of the same problem. So we'll take one mark off there and another for the incorrect signature, which will give us a fair for HTDF completeness and internal quality. So the final criteria we have to look at is does the design satisfy the problem requirements? So it needs to be a world program, it needs to operate on compound data, and it needs to be within the scope of the course. So we were really clear that we want them to be simple. So this is definitely a world program. The world state is flower, which is clearly compound data. And there was nothing that was outside the scope of the course or overly complicated. So the last thing we'll do before we're finished is we'll copy this here. And we'll actually run our animation. So there's a flower growing and spinning. And when we click, we get a new one. So that's pretty cool, and it seems to work well. So this design does indeed satisfy the problem requirements, and we will give it a good. So this was a very good solution to the flower program. It had a few inconsistencies here and there, but really overall it was very well done. So if this was your program, I'd be very proud of it. So now you're ready to apply this rubric to your own final project. If you have any questions or want some extra feedback on your project, you can post in the discussion forums and we as well as your peers will be there to help you.